Hey guys, it's Mr. B here again. Thank you for checking out this video. I hope you guys are doing okay and staying safe over there. Today I have another game uh, to introduce to you guys. Um, this is a popular um, game in Japan. It's called Tamago Gachi. Um, it's very popular with young, uh, young children and they seem to enjoy uh, playing these type of games. So I thought I would uh, try uh, my hands at making a uh, interactive uh, game for the students. Um, but before that, um, if you guys would like to support this channel, uh, you can subscribe and turn on your notification bell uh, so that you can get the newest materials when I post them up. Also, um, it would help me out a lot if you guys put a thumbs up and a like for this video. Okay, so let's take a look at the game. Uh, first, click on the play button. Mine's located here at the bottom right corner. You can play this game one-on-one. -on -one. I've tried it online and offline and it works just fine. Or you can play this in a group. Um, you can have uh, you can play up to five five groups. Uh, you have your scoreboard on the right and your commands on the left. Um, you can click on a scoreboard to add points for each team. We'll just set it to zero for now. Um, it uses the same scoreboard system as the Plant vs. Zombie uh, game that I made recently. Um, you can also check that. You can also check that video out later. And on the left, you have um, your commands uh, for what you want to do for your pet. So you have here uh, feed it. You can click anywhere on feed it. And this pet gives you twenty points, so you can add that to your scoreboard. Let me try another one. Um, how about we go with play with it. And this one gives you 200 points so you can add that to the scoreboard. And you can click on play it again, play with it again. And this time it only gives you four points. You can add there. And if you click on it again, on play with it, now it gives you 100 points. And you can add that to your scoreboard as well. There's a 10 second uh, delay between characters, so you have to wait 10 seconds before um, you can click on the next command. And you can test it out. You can you click on anything you want. Uh, you can click on wash it. Can I wash it, please? And this one gives you only one point. You can click on uh, let me pet it. So we just have to wait a little bit. There we go. And this one gives you 350 points. Wow. So we'll just add the points there. All right. So on each um, commands, there are uh, five hidden buttons on here. So you can click anywhere along um, the phrases and it'll give you five different choices. Um, so that's how that works. And sometimes it gives you random uh, pets as well but you only get five choices also there's a little radio here in the corner if you click on that you can play uh, music while you're playing the game okay um, but you don't have to play the music it's it's really up to you you can also change the command um, but you will have to move the hidden um, objects that's on there. Um, to do that, it's very simple. You just highlight somewhere here and make sure you... Oh, actually, you can just click on here there on the 
here you can see that there's hidden buttons here there should be five of them and you just drag that off make sure you know where you you uh, place uh, put it so you can retrieve it back oops let's do this but I drag it off this way so it's right there and then you just change it to uh, whatever you want oops maybe, maybe give it some chicken or something like that or give it chicken that's a little big so we'll just make it that we'll make that a little smaller there we go and make sure you drag the the buttons back there they are I hope you guys enjoy my PowerPoint materials and PowerPoint games. I've read through some of your comments and there are some um, suggestions uh, for me to uh, try and do. Um, I know that Halloween is coming up very soon, so I'll try to put up some Halloween um, activities and PowerPoint materials as well. I'm also working on a few new projects. Um, so. Stay tuned for those. All right, now that we've moved them back on, let's test it out. Hit the play button here. Click on the give it chicken. And this character gives you 50 points. So just add 50 points on the board. And then we'll click on give it chicken again. And this character gives you 300 points. And that's basically it. That is the Tamago Gochi game that I made. Um, it's quite simple. I just usually use this really quickly after I finish a lesson. But you can use this with a uh, with your class, and maybe you can do uh, some Q and A before uh, you uh, let the kids choose what to do. Maybe you can ask them some questions, or use it with flashcards, or however way you want to use this is really up to you. So just be re really creative with this. And also, you can um, swap out your characters if you want. Just go to the second page here on the PowerPoint. And I've also included some, um, some extra characters here, some points that you can swap out. The scoreboard's right here. So um, you can do whatever you want uh, with this game. So thank you for watching my video today. I hope you enjoyed this little game that I've made. And if you do, don't forget to subscribe and turn on your notification bell so that you can get more materials like this. And if you do like my materials, don't forget to like and write a comment at the bottom of this video so that I know um, what I can do for the next game. Until then, I wish you the best of luck in your classes.